go. Action. It ain't recording on that one. Alright, hold on. Let me do that one. Do that one more time, baby. Action. It's time for the song and dance. It's yeah. your boy Rob Dorsey, and I'm here with my main man. Nerd up, JL. You oh know. my goodness. We back again with another one for y'all. This is the Beats and Brews podcast. Yes, sir. And we are here with a banger. Certified. And uh, I say that in every sense of the word because not only is it a banger of a beer, it is also a banger of a song. Exactly. Exactly. Classic. Word. Classic. C R E A M. You ain't hip hop if you don't know this one. Exact Mundo. So exactly. I'm gonna give you all a few seconds to, you know, figure out what yeah. song it is. Put it up, put it up. All right. All right, all right, all right, right, right. He said he said caramel butter pecan chocolate delight. Mm. <laughs> so heavy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This right here is uh this song is called Cream by who? Wu Tang. Wu Tang Clan. Clan. Apologize for my garage door. So, <laughs> the Wu Tang Clan. Legends. Legendary. This is a classic song and something that's totally, 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 totally uh, dope. And, and it is hip hop culture. It really is. And what does this say, Gus? Various culture. Uh huh. Oh my goodness! Hmm. You know what can we say? Hmm. And like, so we got we got a couple of good things on this on this beer here. So like, I'm gonna go ahead and let JL take this over real quick and talk about what is on this can, man. What 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 are, what are, what are, what, are, what what is what is Six Point talking about here? Uh, six Point is saying first and foremost that this is seven point two. Wow. On alcohol volume, it's a cream ale brew with coffee. Um, Established in 2004. Let's see what else we're talking about. Okay. Starting with cream in your coffee. Now have coffee in your cream ale. <laughs> it says, we took blonde beer and calibrated it with roast, roasty coffee and a touch of creamy sweetness. Mm. Starting in the day with craft brew. Cream. It's mad science. It is mad science. Yeah. And... Science is made. Oh. oh, what happened? Something else? Hold on. Let me, let me oh, snap. Okay. 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 And just so you know, <laughs> what that say, cuz? <laughs> <laughs> what that say, cuz? <laughs> That's funny. I didn't even see that. Look, I never peeped that either. <laughs> Craft rules everything around me. Cream. Cream get the money. <laughs> <laughs> Word. Yo, I like that. That's dope as shit. I never even Word. noticed that. So I guess, you know, we got to keep this uh, episode in the same realm of what it's in already, right? Mm -hmm. like Straight it, like that. It only makes sense. It got woo written all over it. Man. It really does. Yeah. Like Shout like, out to Meth, man. Word, Meth, the RZA, the Jija, Inspector Deck. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> word. The whole clan. Raekwon, the chef. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Everybody, man. We appreciate y'all for what y'all did for the culture. You know? And now, let's see what this beer is doing mm -hmm. for the culture. Oh, I gotta wipe mine off too. I forgot. Whoa. <laughs> this beer is aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Foamed all over my laptop. That thing's aggressive. That is messed up. Where? It smells good though. Mm. So. What you get from it? What you get? Look at that also, man. Apologize, y'all. Formulated by the mad scientist. Hmm. Six Point Brewery. Hell, I'm out of Brooklyn, New York. Now, you see, I'm getting, like, 
just a little bit of anything. I, I'm not really getting much. Mm-hmm. Look at it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to talk a little bit. I, I, I don't. I get a little bit of coffee, all, like on the aroma, but that's it. You do? I don't but it's that, real though. light. I don't get that. You gotta like. You gotta like kind of kind of sniff it in and sniff away. Like, okay. <laughs> one of those. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh yeah, definitely in the taste. Definitely coffee in that. Definitely taste. in the taste. That's big coffee in that taste. It's definitely in the taste. Hold on, I lost my headphone. Wow, yeah, that's like straight up raw coffee in there. Mm-hmm. It's good though, like, hold on, cause like now let me see. Now the cream with the yeast. Still there. The scratch. You gotta love it. Man. She got scratched at work. Uh, uh, kids. Hey. Hey. <laughs> she like, you wanna get in on this episode? She literally came. I know you're recording. I'm sorry, but she came up to me and was like, lift your chin up. Went, pow, like, took my whole shirt and just. And I was like, oh, that's a kid. <laughs> 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 Yo! <laughs> and she's like, <laughs> I was like, I don't care! <laughs> God! But this is like a new thing. Yeah. But I think she's getting placed next week. That's good. What that happened today? Yeah, that happened today. I think she's being placed into like. a sanctuary. Yeah. Somewhere else. Man. Well, if y'all don't know, that is Vegan Danny Fitness in the background yeah. talking. Make sure Definitely you go subscribe, subscribe to, to her page. Yeah. yeah. It's vegan underscore Definitely. Danny underscore fitness. And I can vouch. I'm a voucher for the meal. Listen. Word. Yeah. Yeah. You hear me? I'm talking about yeah. I got a recipe specifically on my refrigerator. <laughs> for that you know what I mean? Word. Definitely. And if you uh, are following, if you are already following catch us in New York uh, well actually this is going to air like after we're there already but so I should say I'll say thank you everybody that was out there and shouted us out in New York thank you man uh, I appreciate the high fives and all of the hugs and all of the well wishes you know what I mean no doubt it was love it was much love appreciate it I, brought, I packed your toothbrush excuse me well I'm, I was going to change everything so I was going to get the big suitcase but and put food in one side and our, my clothes on the other. Alright, let's talk about it later. Okay, but just don't air that I almost had a kid, so let's not do that. It's too late. It's too late. It's on here. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, right? I know, right? These aren't, these aren't like, you know, all right, babe, all right, uh, get a beer if you need one, it's a couple in there, and, you know, let me finish this up. Okay. You still gotta watch your vlog. Why is there a face? It popped out of my glass. But, uh, you still gotta watch your vlog, so go ahead and watch your vlog that I did for you, and, you know. Watch it upstairs for me if you can or with some headphones on so that we can keep this professional the rest of the time. Did you see that? What is it? It's lights flickering. All right. I love you, babe. Thank you. Peace. Peace out, baby. So, craft rules everything around me. Hmm. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. And that is an, an homage to... Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. That's an homage to... Wu Tang. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, shout out to Six Point for that though. Word, Six Point That's, got that. They, yeah, I feel like Six Point got some hip hop in their brewery. Yeah, yeah. I feel like they they Word. got some people who know what's up. They like, know what's you know going mean? on. They know what's going on. I mean, and where are they from again? <laughs> New York, <laughs> but, Brooklyn. Bro, come on, man. Yeah, all the, it makes all the sense in the world. Mm-hmm. It makes all the sense in the world. Now, I'm not getting that much cream out of this. I'm getting a lot. Not, of but I'm getting the coffee. coffee. You know what I'm saying? And you know me, I'm not a, 
I'm not a I'm not a coffee yeah. person, but when I do drink coffee, mm-hmm. I am a person that has cream in it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. From a liking to able to drink it and vanilla, mm-hmm. vanilla. What's that? Uh, fresh vanilla. Yeah, you know what I'm fresh vanilla creamer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this, even me not being a coffee person, so much to say as the average person would be. Mm-hmm. Or, or you, how you may like it. I'm a coffee guy. I can say that off the back, I definitely taste the coffee bean. Yeah. Great, you know what I'm saying? It's and it's definitely. not, and for me being a person that's not uh, uh, so into it mm-hmm. and not a fan of coffee too much, it's not overbearing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you mean. But I do feel like, all right, <laughs> this is. It's not just a beer, like it's a yeah. You know what I'm saying? A coffee. You right, know what I mean? Right. And it's cool. It's cool. And this guy, like, it's got some. Um... And this is what? 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 What is this? This is a. Uh... It's a cream it's, ale. It's an ale, right? Okay. Yeah, cream ale, and it's like it, well, you get the cream because of the the yeast that they use. Just a, it's a specific. A specific strain of yeast that they use called a cream ale, you mm. know, what I mean? cream ale yeast, okay. and um, like this right here, like so you don't really get no cream flavor, but you get like the smoothness, yeah, of okay. cream. And then, yeah, that's what I said because it's even as me not being a, a special uh, straight coffee mm-hmm. drinker, I do feel the smoothness in it as. Opposed to me having a straight coffee, yeah, or black, right? I can't drink that at all. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So maybe it's that cream ale. Mm-hmm. What is that? Would you say it was a hot or was oh it the yeast? The yeast, the yeast, yeah. the yeast. Okay, apologize, but you can tell that brings the difference in it. You know and I ain't gonna lie, this definitely tastes like black coffee. It but does, sweet, but sweet. That's yeah. what I'm saying. And like, yeah, and that's, that was my <laughs> point. Like, I can't, right. drink, I can't just drink straight black coffee and mm-hmm. like I told you I don't even have to have the creamer in it or yeah. the fresh vanilla and this is I feel like this is the perfect blend for a person that doesn't drink coffee like true, me so true, true. speaking on a yeah. you know the aspect of the people like myself I can dig that it's definitely it's definitely dope you know what I mean and it's, it's smooth you know yeah what I mean? mm. So, let's get into the Wu Tang discussion. You know, matter of fact, before we get into it, everybody, man, make sure you smash that like button and uh, put down yeah, in the comments. Definitely do that. Definitely do that. Where? Put down in the comments your favorite Wu Tang song or album or artist. Oh man, we didn't even shout out Ghostface Killer. Sorry, oh, Ghostface, yeah. you my man, Tony Stark. Yeah, you already know. Yeah, definitely you gotta shout saying? out Ghost. <laughs> God my bad. Yeah, shout out to Ghost, man. Apologize, man. My fault, brother. <laughs> Definitely Ghost. We didn't. We didn't mention Meth. We didn't mention the Chef. Yeah. We didn't. We didn't mention. We didn't mention the whole clan. It's Word. Like ghost. Come on, ghost base, bro. We had a pocket for that. Though. That's crazy. Apologize to y'all, man. That's messed up. Word. I appreciate you, Ghost, man. You did a lot for the culture, man. You, you brought, you brought, you brought comic books to hip hop. You feel me? Man, listen, and like man. you, you the man. Shaolin Temple. Word. We gotta, we gotta, yo, shout out Karate to the man. Movies. Listen, man, and and I'm a youngin. That you know. That 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 wasn't necessarily. In you know, cause I'm more of a. Yeah, yeah. You know, we more of a '90s coming up X and all them. You know what I mean, yeah. But was Late around nice. for the. You know what I mean, yeah. Hearing the woo and all them around us, mm-hmm. but didn't really was too young to know. Yeah. Exactly what was you know what I mean, but right. going back and being young hip hop connoisseurs, mm-hmm. you know, wanting to say in our own right, you know, because we you know we uh, people that study hip hip hop, right? Um, definitely can't. The woo was very vital. You got people walking around here with woo tattoos, you know what I mean? Word. Woo. woo Woo apparel, you know exactly. what I mean? To this day, Woo apparel Word, still is still yeah. in the market, you know what I'm saying? Word. I mean, as far as on the business side, I'm, I'm not sure whether that goes down to if they even get all the credit that they're supposed to, but right. they know that the love is 
they always definitely out there. get credit from the people. You know what I'm saying? And they get credit from people that's not even yeah uh, uh, in our community. They get credit yeah. from you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I had I had white skateboarders put me on me. Yeah, me that's what I mean. Like when you I was mean? in middle school. Woo is fucking you powerful. I mean? Shout out to the Woo again, man. We're going to dedicate <laughs> this one to y'all. Word. This is all you. Cream. Word. And you see how they got it. So they, you, you know, you know, it's a tribute to the Woo. You know what I mean? Exactly. Look at That's the, why look they got the acronym. Just so y'all don't think I'm playing, I know that you probably can't see it right there, but it says, Craft Rules Everything Around Me. So shout out to the Woo, man. Word. And um, yeah, man. Shout out to Ghostface. Shout out to the Chef. Shout out to Meth. Shout out to the rest of the Woo. Shout out to the RZA. Uh, and of course, talking about the Woo, we'd be wrong if we didn't go in talking about that last album that RZA had. Uh, auction. Martin, you know Martin, Martin, Scroll, Martin Scorsese or whatever his name was. Whatever Martin his name Scrolecki. was. Uh, we'd be wrong if we didn't uh, talk about that. You know what I mean? Because he had all old songs and, you know what I mean, from back in the day. Things that couldn't be relived again. I thought it was all brand new. No, that was old. That was all old back in the day. Things never heard before. Word? Yeah. I mean, and it's a sad thing to say that the dude that bought it wasn't wasn't necessarily a hip-hop fan. Like, he just... He just knew that he, he just he just knew that that was a great uh, historic hip hop artifact. Mm-hmm. That was if he had it, it would you know what I'm saying bring him something. Right. You know what I mean. And and to this day, I still haven't heard what was on it. You know what I'm saying. But he, uh, he, he, not, he's he not previewed to put it he up. previewed he previewed a few things. Yeah. He, he streamed live, and uh, he played some of the songs from off there. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying. But of course. You gotta recognize uh, RZA's vision. You know what I'm saying? Like that was like this is how we say like uh, how 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 Dre has uh, uh, detox. Oh yeah, the detox. You know, we've been waiting for detox for so long. And, uh, yeah. yeah. But RZA had his thing put together and. Oh yeah, seventeen minutes. Let me check the camera. Okay. My bad. I'll put it on pause or something. Right. Yeah. I'll pause. Let me just back. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Rob Dorsey, the Friendly Neighborhood Nerd. And I just want to go ahead and tell you right now, I didn't expect this to come out like this. It was an accident, you know what I'm saying? It was supposed to be a full episode, but uh, somehow, I guess we forgot to record the rest of it when we came back from the break. Either we forgot or, you know, something distracted us. My bad, man. (laughs) You know what? Since I messed up, it's my fault. Since I messed up, I'm going to go ahead and release episode 17 right now. So, you know, you guys got two for one. And episode 17 is a special one, too. So make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like on that thing for me. Send me a little subscribe, man. I really want to hit 50 subscribers, like, ASAP, man. I'm at, what, I'm at 21 now. So, like, if we can hit 50, man... That'd be much love, and you know I appreciate you guys, and I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Put it in the comments, you know, if you got any beer selections you want us to do. Wow. So just looking over the footage I just took, I look so crazy right now. I'm sorry. Say what you got to say about me, but I look ridiculous. It ain't my fault. I was born this beautiful, and you know I love it. So enjoy it. Peace out. But yeah, man, go ahead and check out episode 17. It's the special at Argilis with the green tea beer that I helped uh, build with the recipe and I helped brew. So it's a real special episode and hope you guys like it, man. So come on back. (laughs) Peace out.